particularly appealing or inviting. But sometimes if you just give it a moment and listen carefully and watch carefully, you will find life in the most unexpected places. I low key just found our first bat. Well, how neat is this? This little interpretive trail takes like very little time, maybe five minutes, like 200 yards, but teaches you about some of the native plant species and takes you to this cool little cave. Well, I don't know if that's considered a cave, but you a know, shelter. a natural shelter. It's pretty neat, yeah. You can stand up in it. I can stand up in it. So there you go. Now you know that there's more to see than just the cavern in Carlsbad Cavern. There's a heck of a view. Yeah, all right. I promise we will get to the cave. I know that's the good part, but I feel like enjoying the views along the way. Mammoths. Can't say we're two tigers. Look at those. All right, well. If you're interested in seeing mammoths, you're in the right place, but the wrong time. Well, how about that? It's not the prettiest view we've seen in any national park by any means, but it's a view. Anything beyond just a cavern here in Carlsbad Caverns National Park is a bonus, so we'll take it. <laughs> and finally, the main event, Carlsbad Cavern itself. Melissa and I have been in a fair amount of cave tours before, but this one easily takes the cake. It is by far the biggest and most impressive cave I've seen, and I would consider it one of the coolest hikes or experiences in general that you can get in any national park that I know of. So if you live in the United States, this really deserves to be on your bucket list. It is important to know that you're required to reserve a ticket in advance on the website, which costs $1 per person. So make sure you do that if you're planning to come here. You don't really have to worry about bringing a flashlight because it's well lit enough throughout and you're on a nicely paved trail the whole time. One of the nice features of this experience is that it's a self-guided tour, so you get to go at your own pace and not be crowded by a bunch of people in a single file line. You can also pick up an audio guide device in the visitor center so that you get all of the interesting information you would get from an actual guide, so you get the best of both worlds. That's really all you need to know about this. Other than that, just take your time and soak it all in. We certainly did. It took us three and a half hours to go through simply because we were taking our time, taking lots of pictures, and just relishing the experience. It's a breathtaking cave. And they even have a gift shop and cafe at the bottom. Man, oh man, that cave tour was sweet. Yep. That is the granddaddy of all caves. Very impressive. Yeah, we've enjoyed our time here. I mean, we've just spent a day and we're about to go see the bats now that it's the end of the day. But other than that, we're done here. 
Uh, there is more that you can see. Um, there's some dirt roads you can explore and some hikes, but most of those are actually closed currently because of uh, rains and washing out and stuff. Mm -hmm. But uh, for the most part, you really just need to come see the caverns. And uh, between that and the white sands, New Mexico truly has proven itself to be a land of enchantment. Mm -hmm. And of course, there's tons of fun things in northern New Mexico that we've never been and seen yeah. yet. Mm -hmm. That'll be another trip. But uh, down here in the southern side of New Mexico, between the national parks and a giant pistachio and Roswell, Roswell with yeah. all of its many aliens, it's been it's been fun. It's a cool place. Yeah. So we're going to continue our journey with Texas, Western Texas tomorrow, mm -hmm. starting in Guadalupe Mountains National Park and working our way down to Big Bend. So the journey continues, but for now we're going to end this New Mexico portion by going to see the bat flight. Let's yeah. go. Yeah.